a good controller player, heavily relies on holding your controller efficiently. You want full control of your character at all times. The majority of you all probably know the normal controller grip, like this. But Claw, not many people have heard of it. The grip looks strange, but it's highly efficient. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Claw and how to become good at it. So, all enjoy. This is part 2 in a series where I talk about how to become a better controller player in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There should be a playlist somewhere above, so go watch the first video after this one. First of all, I want to tell you why I switched to Claw. I've been using Claw for around 3 months now, ever since March of this year. Before Claw, I was using a grip that was very clunky and hard to get good at, that being the generic grip, but then it just clicked to me. I was using my controller so inefficiently, there was no point even using half the buttons. Prone controller is hard, but this grip helps you and I can say it works. Why didn't you try watching my videos from 4 months ago? I was so bad. So without that little bit of history, let's get into some claw knowledge. The claw grip, it's said in the name, is a grip where your fingers is shaped like a claw. There are three different types of claw, left claw, right claw and then both together. In many popular games like Minecraft and Fortnite, the right variant of claw is commonly used because it can be used on all controllers. Here is what the grips look like and the settings to use with All of the face buttons and settings can be changed, but these settings work for me and are very easy to get the hang of. With this grip, you also need to change how your fingers are positioned from the normal generic grip. To optimise all your button usage, you should have your left index finger and middle finger on L1 and L2. And with the other end, you should have your right middle finger and your ring finger on R1 and R2. You don't need claw for this. With that all said, I will show you how your claw finger should be wrapped. Your right index finger is the one that you should be using for your face buttons. With this button map to jump, your finger should be able to go across all the other buttons and just rest on it, just to be easily pressed down whenever needed. All of the other face buttons should be pressed with the same finger. It might take a little while to get used to, but when you have it down, it will be beneficial. The grip has a lot of benefits, but it also has some downsides, so here are them. The grip can improve your aim, if you have the right sensitivity and FOV, letting you move your right stick slower and more precise. You can access all the face buttons without taking your thumb off the analog sticks, meaning you can press jump without even needing your thumb. You can also access all the buttons easier, meaning that you can change some inputs around to suit you. The only real downside to this is that if you're using the grip for a long period of time, it can hurt your palm and your thumb. But if you take a break every so often, you'll be fine. Claw grip isn't made for everyone, but it can help you if you give it a shot. The grip will help you improve your controller journey, but it will take time and effort to get used to. Just like how I got used to it back three months ago. Thank you everyone for watching this video. It might have been a bit short, I don't really know. I'm doing the voice right now, so yeah. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, watch the first video in this series talking about how to generally just get better at controller, and yeah, without further ado, say see you on the next one, peace.